Okay. I don't normally do a Raw review, which this isn't. This is just my thoughts on Raw. I'm not really reviewing it. I'm going to tell you what I think we just witnessed because I did watch this Raw. And I'm going to be honest here. I'm not exactly sure what I saw. Because it is obvious Vince made alterations to the show. Look, the opening with Ray. Can can you honestly tell me when you noticed Ray talking with Dominic that Dom started fumbling his words? Now, he does once in a while. Maybe once. But this time he was doing it a lot. He was. And his father was trying to cover for him. It was like he was trying to remember his lines. Guys. I'm not saying that Dom is great when it comes to the stick, but you could tell he was messing up quite a lot. Even the commentators were messing up. Look, when you watch the Bronson Reed versus, we got meat, big manly meat in the ring, manly meat hitting one another. What the hell was that from Corey Graves? Tell, tell me what we heard when, when Corey Graves was just beginning to call the match between Bobby and Bronson. And he says, there goes some manly men with a lot of meat on their, uh, um, with a lot of meat, hitting meat. What was that? There goes some men with a lot of meat hitting meat, if I remember correctly. And I'm sure I'm even messing it up. But meaty meat. What the fuck was that? Guys, it is obvious that Vince altered the show. Now, was the match between the Usos and the Alpha Academy good? I would tell you it was not a bad match at all. And really, I think Alpha Academy could have won and then they would do something with Jay. But they didn't go there, which is fine. Solo Sequoia facing a... <sighs> Was it typical about Kevin Owens getting rescued at the last minute? Yes. But it's going with the story with the bloodline, which on Raw sucks. But on SmackDown, at least last week was okay. But I don't know about here. This, it's paint by the numbers, which felt boring. Boring. So I'm not surprised how they booked Kevin Owens with Solo when the when the Usos dealt with them, beat him up. And then you see literally right at the end, you see pretty much running in sandals, a Matt Riddle as fast as he can in sandals to the ring with Sami Zayn and they play Sami's music. Why would you play Sami's music if they're coming out of nowhere? You don't do that. You just let them come out. But it felt like something Vince would do. And let's make this really Clear. We heard the rumors about a Trish Stratus possibly turning heel, which made no sense. Why would you turn someone that people want to cheer to boo? And then what did they do? They literally let Lita get her ass beat up. Then they do the Freebird rule. When, when I saw Lita laid out, I knew Freebird rule coming up. It happens. But when they lost the damn titles which made no sense to drop them to Raquel and Liv Morgan when literally they didn't even want to announce that both Ronda was hurt, which I heard that Ronda was hurt, and then Shayna Baszler was hurt later, and they didn't want to announce it on TV. We had to hear from Dave Meltzer and the dirt sheets that she was injured because nobody in, on WWE wanted to generally announce it unless I missed it. If I did, I'm sorry, I didn't see it. You literally don't see any dissension between a Lita and Becky or a Lita with Trish Stratus or a Trish Stratus with Becky Lynch. There's nothing there before WrestleMania, after WrestleMania. So now, supposedly, she loses the titles. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, after hugging a Becky Lynch, and I'm going like, okay, who's going to turn? Who's going to turn? Because this has to be Vince. We get Trish turning on Becky Lynch. That also means Trish is now going to be facing a leader. Unless Lita's going to turn on a dime because they're going to be... They Calm down. 
if this is Vince's booking, you know what's going to happen? If I'm wrong, fine. I'll eat crow. You can guys can tell me on the next Raw if I upload another video. But you want to know what might happen? When Lita comes back either next week or week after from the local medical facility, not the hospital. Local medical facility. Isn't that what Vince says? Mm-hmm. But essentially, when she comes back, if they're going to make this really something special, you're going to see something special for me. You're going to have Vince. He's going to do one of two things. He's going to have Lita face Trish. And they're going to have their feud. And Becky will be on the wayside just basically watching. Or you're going to have Lita turn on Becky so she can stay with her friend Trish because they don't want to turn two legends against one another, which Vince probably will. But if not, they're going to do the ultimate turn where both of her heroes are not going to turn against her and she's going to get her ass whooped and then someone will have to come in and save her, which could be who? Bailey, maybe? Because look what happened with Bailey. Bailey had a shot at a triple threat to go after Bianca. She basically gave that up to pretty much give Io Shirai or Io Sky her option, and she won. And now she's going to be facing Bianca. But the way Bailey was acting, it's like they're going to have Bailey back up a Becky, so they'll do something with Bailey because of what the tweet was saying: "All romances end." It's over by which she may be dealing with damage control separating from them if that is what they were actually teasing. Because if you see my video when it comes to a Asuka and a Bailey, the way it sounded, Bailey is sick and tired of how the women's being booked. Asuka openly stated in her in her tweet, I may go back to Japan. I know people are gonna miss me, but the, I'm done pretty much with the boring women's division. Please give me your rage. Oscar would never say something like that unless the actual woman, the real person that is a beautiful, gorgeous woman who's been in the company for many years has finally gotten sick and tired of what's been going on and she openly criticized it. And their tweet is still up. Both their tweets are up. Both of them, Oscar and Bailey, if you've seen my Gump report. So I'm going like, what are we getting here? You see a Bailey going for EO Sky. So they're relegating her to the background, not really doing much. Unless she will now work with Becky because... You're going to, instead of having a Trish Stratus versus either a Becky or Trish Stratus versus a Lita because Lita just got her ass beaten up. You're going to have Trish and her lovely partner in crime and life and everything in a Lita. They face Bailey and face Becky. I don't know. And almost forgot. I didn't mind seeing Bronson Reed and a Bobby Lashley basically double count out. That might be one of the highlights of the show because at least they're doing some, but I'm not going to lie here. The, the way the match was didn't seem very good. I mean, do I, am I happy seeing them have something? Yes, particularly that Bronson wasn't doing anything in WrestleMania when he should have. And Bobby Lashley having won that damn, damn Andre the Giant the, ugh, Andre the Giant Cup, what, 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 what was that for? It didn't really give him anything. He gained nothing from it. So now they throw them together, which could end in a decent feud of at least three matches. But the way it looked, I'm going to be honest to you. That match felt choppy. It did. It felt choppy. And I, I'm, I'm just saying that's how it felt. That's that's how the match felt for me personally. Now, I know I can talk about Finn. I can talk about Ray. Where's their match bad? No. Did Dominic do his job? Yes, he did better than his promo. I will say this about the show. Was it bad? No. 
but it is obvious Vince made some decisions like turning Trish Stratus heel for no freaking reason like a Brock Lesnar. And I will say this about Cody. Did he talk well? Yes, to try and sell this stupid storyline of how Brock Lesnar gets angry because he opened the show. I'm sorry. That's too damn weak. I'm sorry. It, it's weak. It's weak. Him having opened the show when he won, it's stupid. The storyline sucks. Him getting angry, it, it doesn't work when he was a face all this time and all of a sudden he turns on a dime. It's dumb booking. It's Vince McMahon booking. This show looks like it was booked by Vince to a certain extent. Because like, like SmackDown, Vince was not there. He went to a damn Eagles count. Vince was not at SmackDown. He was at a damn Eagles concert. He went to listen to the Eagles. A 77-year-old man listening to the Eagles going, yes, I love my Eagles. Yes, listen, I love my music. He decided to go and see an Eagles concert. And I don't know where he was today. Maybe he was in the back. Maybe he was out partying again. I don't know. I don't care. It is obvious that Vince booked the show to a certain extent. This was not all Triple H. And if anybody said this was a great show, please. Yeah, who are you lying to? Who are you lying who, who, who the fuck are you lying to? It is obvious this show was not that great. There was a lot of things on this show that was stupid. Stripping the titles off of, off of, ba uh, calm down. You're literally, within a few weeks, stripping the titles of a Becky and Alita just to turn Trish heel for what? For what? Are you going to have Lita versus a Trish Stratus? Instead of putting over younger talent, are you going to have Trish versus a Becky? Or maybe they'll do exactly like I said. When Lita comes back, instead of beating down on a Trish, she beats down on a Becky. Then you're going to have to have Bailey help her because there's no one else unless it's going to be Charlotte Flair. And we didn't even see Rhea Ripley on TV. I'm just saying, I'm, this is what I think. Hopefully you like it. Peace.